So I'm Karen, and I work in theme park design, and I'm a colorist. And that's a real job. I color for a living. It's not all coloring. Sometimes it's watching cartoons for research. Oh, <laughs> dang. Excellent. Excellent. Job well done. Okay, my turn. I'm Don Carson. I'm an art director here at Mighty Coconut. And uh, both Karen and Heidi and I have worked together for years in the theme park business. Ooh, nice. And my name is Heidi Hirsch, and I'm the director of project development for Reveal Studio, which is an architectural firm. One of the many markets that we indulge in is the themed entertainment. And as Don said, I know Don and Karen. Uh, Don, I went, no way back. Uh, gosh, Don, do you want to tell them? Like 30 years. Oh, I think. It's 30 crazy. years. Oh, yeah. This so been, uh, just, as a, just as a, a setup, um, Heidi, Karen, and I played Walkabout almost from the moment that it came out on the Quest 2 and uh, as a way to sort of survive the global shutdown. And it became a, like sometimes a bi weekly. Uh, what the heck? My thing is, oh, I have sunlight. It's on. your club. Okay. It's your it's it's my your club. club. It's not yeah. my talent. Yeah. So, no, so we no, would no, get no, together no, no. and uh, we would, we would uh, play miniature golf. Until we, and when we started flying, we would fly around a lot, and uh, we also would comment on a lot of the similarities, especially with bogies, to the the work we did at, and do as theme park designers, the placemaking. Um, oh, excellent! Yay! Good. Oh, excellent! Yay! Good. Good. Oh, is it me? Bogie yeah. was probably for us the Bo first one that really started to tell a story. And that's why yeah. we picked this one in particular. Because we started to yeah, see the strong in. similarities between environmental design with theming and with storytelling. And this clearly started to talk it more than probably the other ones. But this was stood out. Yeah, during all our okay. games, I kept saying, I really need to write these guys and just compliment them on their placemaking. And then it was bogeys that made me finally go, the heck with it, I'm going to write. <laughs> and of course, and we teased them a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're writing a fan letter, you're writing a fan letter. And I then did, he got a but, hey, response, and I got a job. immediately I was jealous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Whee. I've heard that. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh go in. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh. Awesome. Awesome. So, Karen, you're a colorist. Talk to me about the color. Yeah. Oh, the color in here? You know, mm -hmm. um, what I, what I, I remember the first time coming in here how the, even though this is a low poly world and we know we're in a virtual world, the lighting and, and the sound too, but like really yeah. makes it, like it really feels warm, really, I don't know, it really feels like we're in this deserty place. It's mm -hmm. really well done. Well, sometimes we pick holes based upon ah! what temperature it feels like. I think we've done uh, <laughs> tourist trap night a couple of times during the summer because it just felt like the tropical breezes were were blowing. Good. Hey, awesome. Hey. Uh, so the, Heidi, the, when when you and I yeah. met, you were a colorist at Walt Disney, Imagine, Walt Disney Imagineering, right. and you you are more producer, sort of executive producer level now, right? Um, well, I changed my title, but thanks. I like that one. You know what? I'm going to go with that one. I give you that. Um, actually, I'd like to call myself a casting director these days because I feel like I cast teams. And I had, I, I mentioned oh. this in the, uh, I know, it's just, it doesn't like me, in the Facebook page that I had my first business meeting on one of these golf courses. Did you? <laughs> and which I thought was just way fun. That was like, that, wow, yeah. here it is. And it's a great way to get to know people and team members. So I actually interview anyone who has an Oculus. I interview them in the, the game. Oh, that's great. I didn't know you did that. Yeah, which then says a lot to me about what do they think of this? And if they go, wow, it's a great mm. golf game, they go, okay, that's good. 
And if they start right. t- talking about the design and the color and the environment oh, that's and the story. Yeah. So they don't even know they're you're being vet- interviewed. You're vetting them by I'm taking them, them to a, a themed environment. Yeah. Exactly. That's very oh. Cool. Oops. Oh, dude, that was excellent. I I was <laughs> I know. That was a trick shot. Yeah, that was yeah. very well done. So, getting back to the story element of this, whereas on uh, some of the other games, or the courses, I guess you could say, you know where you are. But this one has a story in it, and it evolves, and you understand that there has been some form of life here, some kind of community Mm -hmm. here, right? And you start to see the little elements of community. And this is what this is all about for me, is we've created mm-hmm. a community within this course. Right. Mm. Agreed. Agreed. I like well, all the, also... the story of, like, oh, yeah, like the campfire was just here and all the stuff in the mine. And right. it's like, hey, what were they doing? Oh, look, well, this the, was the rocks Bogies... here so the paper doesn't blow away. Exactly. Well, Bogies <laughs> was, the, was the one that I think that they really started feeling that. Over by hole one, there's that crashed uh, stagecoach. Stagecoach. And it just yeah. It just suggests a whole bunch of, of sorrow and misery, and yet there's nothing more than that other than whatever you fill in in your own imagination as to what, what calamity happened there with the stagecoach. And I think you just said the most important thing. You fill in the story. Right. It yep. carries you, and it makes you feel as if there was a story here. And what you don't see or what you do see determines how that direction moves. We know there was mining going on in here. Mm-hmm. Clearly mm-hmm. a saloon. There was drinking. There was a train <laughs> wreck. There was a, there was a lot of things happening in this poor town before we got here. Well, that's one of the sort of the, the Disney hallmarks is that they talk about designing with story with a capital S, which is not a linear um, chapters or, you know, characters. It's much more about how an environment is evocative and also fulfills one's expectations of whatever the theme is. You know, what is it about this that screams Western town? And then how have they added layers of little bits of story like, like the campfire to help support that? You know, it, that's a that's an interesting thing to say, Don, because it's almost like a storyboard if you think about it. Do you remember in the animation world where they used to have what was it called? I'm going to say it wrong. In betweens or something. Oh right. Where the animator, right, right, right. you would know yeah. more about that. You could talk more about mm-hmm. that. Yeah, the in between artists I would can. be the ones that would do mm-hmm. the the sketches between the main action. The the, the main animator would do, and. Uh, yeah, your brain in here is doing the in-between work. The, th- the oh, thing Jetsons, is, is we play in these games. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, roll. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. Not right. It ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Along with all that is a language that we've developed here in the games. That's right. <laughs> That's not all of it we can say right now. <laughs> no, not right now. No, unfortunately, we can't. Yeah. But you, it might come out as an outburst like, some people have already done. <laughs> I want you to know that I got my my lucky walkabout ball. Oh gosh, darn it! Look what just happened there, and I didn't plan on that in uh, any way, shape, or form. Uh, oh, that was pretty well, lucky. I was very lucky. I guess I could call it my lucky ball. That's yeah, right. you're laughing because you know what would have been said. Oh, oh no, that ain't right. That ain't right. So, so what do you think has changed in the theme park business since we started, you know, back oh. back in the day? Meeting in the model. H- huge. Oh, Meeting in VR instead of in a conference mm-hmm. room or in front of a screen. Remember that well, time you walked me through that show we were working on? Like, instead of meeting mm-hmm. on Zoom? And you could... And and I remember like oh you can see nice. this is in scale and that's out of scale and that doesn't show and that's way closer than I thought it was. Yeah, that was the thing I do, that I really loved about VR was that you knew instantly what wasn't working, 
Mm -hmm. uh, just because of your relationship to the scale. If the doors weren't tall enough or the steps were too high, you, you instinctively knew the second you looked at it, which you wouldn't necessarily know by looking at architectural elevations and plan drawings. Mm -hmm. Also, when I do murals and look at it in VR, like you can, you can look at it in the model and sketch up, but um, in, your, in VR, with, with that scale and parallax, you can really see what shows and more, more importantly, what doesn't show and just cut yeah. $10,000 off like in one, right. in one visit, just finding out where your sight lines are. Huge. Well, something that young, young designer um, Jessica Piatti taught me is that she'll bring her color elevations in with the model. So the first thing you do is you walk up to these flats with the color elevations that are to scale. So they're really big, they're the right size and then you get to experience them in color and then you turn and then you get to walk inside the white model. Um, it's like going to a museum prior to going to the actual finished, boy, am I not doing great. Um, and I thought that was wonderful. It added a, a sense of life to those color elevations that, that I hadn't anticipated being something that you could do. I remember in the old days, in the olden times, when they would put the models up on risers and you'd right. walk that was a through it. Thing. You would physically walk through a, mi a miniature world. Oh, congratulations. All right, what an eagle. That? All right, girl. An eagle. Nice. Yeah. Thing. Nice. You know what? They should call it a buzzard in here, though, don't you think? That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or a vulture. They should call it a vulture in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, is it? oh, no. You when we recently, the three of us, Don, I don't know if you mentioned that the three of us recently, within what, the last couple of years, worked on the Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah. We, one, that's, Recreation. I think one of the gifts of COVID was we had lots of time on our hands to work on personal projects. And one of them was our recreating the Alice ride from Disneyland 1958. And it was just too much work for Daniel um, Singer and I, and so we were looking for help, and you both graciously uh, were willing to to participate. And that was I was that was as much fun for me as working on a an actual brick and mortar project together. Maybe even more. I so. remember, I remember it as you were talking about it, and maybe somebody begged you to be working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what happened. You know, maybe there was. I, I was the one doing remember the having a nervous breakdown. It's funny how <laughs> you guys see it a little differently than me. I, well, I tried to bribe that... a colleague of mine to do it for me. <laughs> well, what's but funny is that since you, yeah. Ooh, since nice, you, Heidi, nice one. You and I, when we Thank worked you. together last, you were painting. And so I just yes. assumed that painting was something you did on a daily basis. I hadn't realized that that maybe you're, you had been off the bicycle a little while. And uh, just, about uh, just needed some years, encouragement. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> it was uh, oh. it was an I'm amazing experience. <laughs> <laughs> It, yeah, it was truly an amazing experience. Too obvious. <laughs> the thing that struck me the most is when we went in nice. to the ride. Ooh, All right, evil. buzzard, buzzard. When we went into the ride for the first time in VR. All yeah. right, wait you, a minute. What do we got here? Double eagle. Yeah. Double eagle. Yeah. Double eagle. All right, yeah, under pressure. Um, okay, yeah. bet your bet, bet your money. Yeah. Well, you and I got it's kind of teary. When yeah. We went oh, through it. I, I was Post. almost sobbing. It was so unbelievable. Mainly I was sobbing because of all the work I did that you couldn't even see if I had been in there. <laughs> As you mentioned earlier, I would have known. Oh, you can't even see that area. Why did I do that? But oh, yeah, that was, it, it, it was, was a really beautiful. It is surprisingly an emotional experience. And you don't really expect that because you don't no. know what well, you're doing. And we didn't. We didn't go in the model while we were working on it. It wasn't until it was finished that we had the technology oh, to yeah, meet up. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. So we were seeing it finished, but just think. Oh, come on, come oh, on, do it, you. do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, go, go, go. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> now, I played this game, I can't tell you how many times, right? What have we played this game? Oh, yeah. 50 times? Oh, I don't know. And I've never noticed the hatchet here. 
Never. Oh. And see. that is that is the fundamental difference between this game and a lot of other experiences. There's something you will always see, which ignites the enthusiasm to come back. Mm. Here's a, a new um, type of golfing that we do. And this one would be called probably, this is probably the ladle. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. This is suggesting we're better yeah. at this than what we really are, actually. A birdie for you. Are we all birdies? Did we, we all are. get a birdie? Yeah, we're birdies. Oh my we god! So it's the it's the birdie bidet. That's right. No, it's an Oprah birdie. Oprah is a is it? par. Oh par. Oh par. Birdie. Oh par. Oh par. Birdie. See, and then here's the 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 what is that thing? The the cart, the coal, the coal thing that went down. The the ore cart. Yeah. Thanks. Also, the lost balls. We haven't even talked about the lost balls. So there's there's what they would call in our industry the weenie, right? It's that one weenie, little thing, yeah. the weenie. And Walt used to the, talk the about that. Shoe. He could probably talk about that better than me, Dawn. Okay. All okay. right. Yeah. Wow. Carrot, an eagle. How many? Wow. See, she bluffed us. She came out with the kind of lame and then just wiped us all out. <laughs> Well, something else that really impressed me with bogeys, and and hence the the courses that have followed it, is the 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 experience of mm. the environment unfolding as you go through the course. Uh, yes. There's almost chapters in environment like this is part probably the second act inside the the mine, and then you come out high and you have this sort of vista of the western town with the saloon and the crash train. Just really nice details. And you were talking about, you know, Walt saying, where's the weenie, which is basically where's the carrot that visually draws you from mm -hmm. one place to the next. So as we get up above, you, the, the town itself becomes that sort of visual carrot. Strategy, all those elements of really good game playing, storytelling, mm -hmm. strategy, identifying spaces, creating your own dialogue. Oh, right. And also the camaraderie of just supporting each other. Yeah, yeah, it's, that was it. I think that's really well, important because we, we have so much competition in games and games become competitive and they become first. And what is it that some coach just got kicked off of a team and the team got kicked off of the league and come on yeah you know my friend Noreen says is there blood no then then you need to stop that kind of behavior and learn to support each other yeah. I mean we support Karen well, bless her heart she's not good at this but yes. we always tell her how good she is <laughs> that's all right where's that pick Where's that? Where's that axe? I think it's the axe you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, a frying there. pan over there. Yeah, there'll be a pan over there. Let me let me clear up your misconception. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really owe you know the the pandemic to a certain degree, and walkabout for our the closeness of our friendship because oh absolutely, yeah, I, oh, absolutely. this yeah. would not have happened if it hadn't been for those two things yeah and now it's folded into a regular thing yeah and we and rejoice in, in the locations. coming of a new yeah we're completely we're not geographically near each other you guys are yeah not really i mean but we're across town what are the chances heidi that we're going to hang out twice a week if we have to get in our car that's right. No. And she <laughs> no. doesn't even really like me that much to start with. Not really, that, but that too. I didn't want to say anything right here in the game. Mm. Well, Haven't let's I talk about been? this. Let's, let's talk about this environment because this is perfect to discuss. You bet. The, the course is a challenge that we have mm -hmm. right away. We have several different options. So there you are right off the bat having to make a decision about what's the best course to take or the best route in the course to take. 
We've seen that mm-hmm. there's, it's been rambunctious, uh, literally. Uh, the roof is coming Somebody off. was cheating at cards, that's all I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah, that's I think right. that's what cheating. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was probably somebody some th- filled with rage because they had to deal with that water tower hole. Uh, oh, God, my, that was awful. My, ne- my <laughs> yeah, nemesis. Well, I don't know. You know, some people maybe can't, just can't get that. It's kind of shame. It's a shame. Or, but or maybe can. somebody was looping chopsticks on the piano over and over. No, there we go. That, that would yeah, do that it over or, and over again, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. yeah. That would have been yeah. very irritating. Uh, but so here's the scene that's been told. This is just not hit the ball. We are in clearly in an environment and that's what's exciting right. to us. Again, it With goes back to the story. storytelling. Story, yeah, mm-hmm. story keeps you coming back. A- and layers of stories. We're not, we don't just do one story, good Lord. Pleasure yeah. Island was what, five or six different stories that they finally right. right, I think you, hit, you were handed a book at the beginning yeah. of the entrance just so you could keep track. Yeah. Well, and we're definitely becomes, we're definitely taking advantage of that in all the future courses we're working on is little touches of, of story elements that that just add extra depth to the experience of being in the space that not necessarily have anything to do necessarily with the act of playing miniature golf, but it makes it that much richer and layered an experience to be there. That's the key. I think that's what is the important thing that makes again the difference this one being the first one where you really started to see a sense of presence a sense of past present and potentially future going into the space app and flying was insane Mm -hmm. and i don't want to veer off too far off of this the flying element Mm-hmm. I think I was about three years old in that environment the first time I flew. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. of course well, the we, first we thing we did was, for... what are we getting into? Yeah. The water. We're going into the water. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> I think there's a it's couple great. of really important things that that we haven't touched upon though, and that has to do with people that are not as mobile. And I read Absolutely. on Facebook that someone was saying, can you play the game sitting down? And there was mm-hmm. a response that said, absolutely. My husband and I, we play sitting down all the time. And when you think about the gift of flight or the mm-hmm. gift to be able to play this game, possibly in a wheelchair, mm-hmm. this transcends a lot of what our world is now coming in here and playing these games when the outside world literally is dealing with COVID and with Mm -hmm. a lot of political unrest and all the things that we shouldn't be talking about in here except to say that this is a sanctuary it's an oasis it becomes it is it's an oasis getting together and now you're talking about something very serious. And now you're talking about the difference between just, oh, me down on the floor and, mm-hmm. and the social implications of what happens here. As mm-hmm. theme park mm-hmm. or themed entertainment or immersive entertainment designers, our job is to transport you. Yeah. This is yeah. what is happening to us we mm-hmm. feel a sense of being transported into this environment. That's true. That's and true. We want to all of the, the all of the design skills that we were trained over, you know, 30, 40 years mm-hmm. uh, apply completely to virtual spaces. And I do hope that the walkabout and products like it are showing the various industries the potential whether it's it's IP driven content or it's original content um, and whatever the activity is that just being in the space together is a huge part of the experience in VR. The fact that we're playing a game is just what it gives us the activity to allow our our gathering and conversation Mm -hmm. to have a context. I want to thank you both for for coming in and just chatting and playing. This is so much like our this normal is... evening game, but uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. but without the uh, it, other it's, words, it's such a wonderful place to do it in, and I'm so excited about the stuff we're working on that's coming down the, in this year and next year. We're already starting to work on next year's stuff too, and 
every single one is even better than the last as far as all the things we've just talked about. So thank you. Mm -hmm.